Hi folks, hope you're doing well. It's 11.35 a.m. on the 3rd of July, 2020. Alright, so it's Independence Day for America tomorrow, I do believe. That'd be interesting. <laughs> That's going to be an interesting situation. Yeah, with the... Well, Trump's going to do a rally, obviously. Um, and then you'll have probably some protesters um, doing whatever they're doing. So, yep, it's going to be an interesting one because, of course, you've got the Black Lives Matter who are really, you know, a lot stronger now than they've ever been before. And they're trying to build an agenda. So I'm sure they're not going to allow tomorrow to go by about saying something major or doing something. So, but this isn't about that. This is about um, Man City beating Liverpool 4 0. So, this is their match. Basically, with that, all I say is you know, a lot of people are making out that Liverpool took it easy. Well, easier. Easier, yeah, but that's natural. Look at them for nearly the whole of the season. Nearly the whole of the season. They were able to keep themselves up at an incredibly high level. Week in, week out, week in, week out, week in, week out. Yeah, pushing it, pushing it, pushing it, pushing it, pushing it. And it's not just being at a high level and maintaining that level. You've got to go higher. Because as the weeks go by, you get more tired. And because you get more tired, because your expectation, the pressure is on you more, you've got to play at a slightly better level. And they did all of that. And then they won the league. Something they've been waiting 30 years to do. And so it's completely understandable that they then relax a little bit <laughs> after that. Yeah? You remember back to when, certainly Man United, I can't remember back Man City when they won the league, how their games after winning were, but with Man United, definitely. After winning the league, we often lost the latter games of the season. Often. Because, again, the players are just relaxed now. And okay, we've done it. As soon as you think we've done it, <laughs> you take your foot off the gas a bit. And the problem with football, the problem with anything like that, is once you take your foot off the gas, it's very difficult to get your foot back on it. So what we saw in seasons at United night when they won the treble is that at no point in time did they take the foot off the gas. Because they couldn't do because even once the league was won, they still had the FA Cup to go for. They still had Champions League to go for. They still had to go for that stuff. And Liverpool, yeah, they got time to build up again for the Champions League because that's going to be played after the season ends. So they can afford to relax a little bit, really. Because then they can try and build it up again for that. Now... Whether they're going to be able to do that, I don't know. Time will tell. Um, I mean, certainly Liverpool are a very, very good Champions League side. Clearly, they won it last season. They're very good. Didn't they win it last season? Last season is such a long time ago now. As soon as I said they won it last season, suddenly in my head it was like, well, did they? Are you sure they went last season? <laughs> I think they went last season, didn't they? Was it a final between Tottenham and Liverpool? I think it was. Oh, that was a long time ago. And it wasn't involving Man United, so I didn't pay that much attention to it, to be completely honest with you. you know, I paid attention to... Tottenham because Tottenham getting anywhere near the final of the Champions League was a huge thing and so obviously I was trying to support Tottenham it wasn't an anti-Liverpool thing it was just a case where you know Tottenham with the chance to win the Champions League is wow fantastic so yeah Champions League starts again so 
So a big yawn there. So yeah, Champions League starts again in a few weeks once the season's ended. And it'd be interesting because a lot of teams, including Liverpool and yeah, certainly I think Man City have got a reason to want to win it this time. The possibility of them being banned from it next year. Yeah, that's, that's a massive motivation to go and be yeah, European champions this season. Because obviously with UEFA, they're not really going to want to ban the European champions from entering next year. Yeah, banning a team so having an appeal would be much more likely to be successive. You know, if you've won it. So, <laughs> yeah. But teams have had a chance to rest their players and get players back that were injured. Um, it's going to be an interesting Champions League final, or Champions League run up to the final and final this season. With people being rested, it's going to be quite fascinating to see how that works. So anyway, yeah. Don't think too much about the game 4-0. It's a big score. You know, Liverpool conceding, not scoring, is you know, something that's been unusual this season. But as I say, they crossed the line. The most important line they crossed. That was it. Bet your bottom dollar. Had they not have won the league up to now, it would have been a different Liverpool side you know, against City. It would have been the same players, but they would have been really up for it a lot more. And they probably would have won the game. That's the reality. So, yeah, there you go. Don't be worried about that. I just heard on Football News that um, Bellingham is joining Dortmund, which I think is a good move for him. Definitely, Dortmund seemed to be this team that um, has been incredibly successful at bringing youngsters through. And so if you're a youngster in football and you've got a lot of promise, Dortmund is probably one of the best places to go. So, good luck to him. He's gone there. Birmingham got 19 million for, and so Birmingham, that's a big amount of money, really. Especially for a player of that age. That's a decent amount of money. Um, they probably have some clause in the deal to say that they get a, a sell on fee from him. So, if he goes to a big club in the future, then they will get a percentage of that, which would be yeah, good for Birmingham. It should keep them afloat. And so, yeah. <laughs> there you go. So, really, the Premier League is, is sorted. You've got positions for Champions League and you've got relegation still. Um, they, those issues are... Um, I mean, it's not too bad. It isn't too bad at all. Yeah. I mean, for the teams, there's a bit of competition at the bottom. There's a chance for the teams right down there to escape. Not much of a chance because they're not playing very well. Um, certainly Norwich, not playing very well. Bournemouth, they've got Man United in the next, the next game. They could escape. They've got a good manager. A very good manager indeed. So they could escape. The problem is they're facing United at a time when they're playing better. And if Solskjaer doesn't rest six or seven players this game, I don't think Bournemouth have got much of a chance because they're not playing well. Um, depends on what teams they both put out. It really does. Um, Aston Villa? I think Aston Villa have got a chance. And in a way, I, I hope they do survive because... Um, there's all this possibility of Jack Grealish going to Man United if Aston Villa go down. I don't see the purpose of Jack Grealish at United. I really don't. I mean, he's a midfield centre, so we've already got Fred, we've already got McTominay that are midfield centres. Do we really need another one? He's, he's not a defensive midfielder. So we sort of have Pogba, who's a midfield centre as well. He's sort of in between there and number 10. So, the point of this I don't get. 
it doesn't make sense to me at all. So if Villa survive in the Premier League, they're less likely to sell him. So I prefer Villa stay up. Um, I think Watford certainly are, are in a bit of danger. They're only one point above relegation. So West Ham are three points above. They've got decent goal difference as well. When six goals, not as bad. That's good. Um, four, top four. Yeah, I mean, Wolves have got a chance. They've actually got a chance. They're level on points for Man United. Two points behind Chelsea, three points behind Leicester. So they've got a chance. You could say Sheffield United have got a chance as well, but they are five points away. With Wolves and Man United ahead of them. And they're actually seven points away from the top four. Let's say if Man City get uh, disqualified from Europe, then it really is the top five we're looking at. In which case, Sheffield United are only five points away from there. Uh, I think Arsenal, no, I don't think they get there. Tottenham, I don't think we'll get there. I mean, they could, but I just don't think they will. Um, Jose, his comments the other day, oh. Yeah, it seems like the Jose that was at Man United, he's making mistakes, he's looking miserable. You know, he's blaming people, not taking responsibility himself. Yeah, not good. Whenever he's done that at a club, any club he's been to, he's got fired soon after because he loses the players. And so I can't, I think this would be him finished, really, in football. Um, mm. Certainly in club management, I can't see a club that would be silly enough to go for him because he got fired from Chelsea the last time he was there. But the same thing, he lost the players, he was blaming the players. He then came to United, same. Uh, Tottenham, now same. Real Madrid, he lost a lot of the players there. You know, the players and the fans were pretty much chuffed to see him go. He's a good manager. He's, he's, he's been a good manager, certainly, during his time. But I think, really, the best manager at the moment is Klopp. His attitude, his way of managing is just fantastic. You know, he's, he's got the utter best out of his players. He's brought players from Lower divisions, put them into Liverpool and within a season, yeah, they're, they're regular first team players doing brilliantly well. Week in, week out. Great management, great coaching at that club, clearly. But also when he does interviews, he's generally so jolly, so happy, so cheerful. You can say, yeah, you know, they've won every game this season, pretty much. They won the league, of course he's cheerful. And in previous seasons, it's been like that as well. So, there you go. I'll finish that there. Uh, Sane signs five-year deal at Bayern. So, that has finally happened. Um, that was one that was on the... in the discussions for a long time. That's now gone through. So, cool. I didn't know really what to say about that. <laughs> I didn't need to mention it at all, but there you go, I mentioned it. So apparently that means that City are going to buy a player from Bayern as well. But that supposedly is the understanding with that deal. Um, I mean, Sonny was a good player. Certainly when I saw him play, he was exciting. He was a player with a lot of pace, a bit of skill. Um, and he's gone to Bayern, and Bayern aren't a club really who buy players who aren't that good. They do tend to know what they're doing because they've always been a top club. But at the moment, Bayern have got a, quite an aging squad. Again, they tend to do that. It makes just certainly real sense, you know. You get a squad, it's working, why muck around with it? Why tinker with that? You know, why bring in a load of youth? You know, it's working. Bring in players when you need to replace players. Simple. 
you know, therefore you're not changing much. So you're staying at the top because you're not doing mega changes. And that seems to make sense if you if you've got it. If you're at the top, yeah, just think of it. That's what Brian had been doing. It just means that after a few years, their squad is quite old. So, I mean, Sane, how old is him? I don't think he's that young, though. But he's 24, so he's quite young, yeah. 44.7 million that could rise to 54.8 million. Cool. Well, City got him for 37 million, so that's not bad. Won two Premier League titles during a, to a, a FA Cup and two League Cups while he was there. So you know, that's not bad, is it? Really. They made money on the transfer and he helped them to win two Premier Leagues, FA Cup and two League Cups. So <laughs> it's a good bit of business, really. Yeah. Well, there you go. That'll do for now. Just a bit of football news, so that's covered all that right now. So you take care. God bless. And I'll speak to you soon. Bye-bye.